So before we start this video, just know that I am a rookie trucker. I've been doing this solo for about almost two months now. So I'm pretty new to this. Uh, a lot of you guys' schedules might vary from mine, and that's cool. Everybody has different, you know, different times that they that they adjust to and that they run at and stuff. So just keep that in mind and keep that in perspective. And be sure you guys like this video before we start. morning everybody it is about 8 30 right now and i just got to my first customer so it's a live unload probably be here for like another like hour or two maybe max so i'm just waiting for a door number but i have time right now i might as well get into making this video i didn't have time yesterday um i just kind of wanted to enjoy my day off which is sunday we'll talk about that in a minute so let's hop back here and get on with the video here. So I'm just chilling in the sleeper right now. Today's video, I get a lot of questions on what my trucking schedule is like. So I literally jotted down all these notes real quick so I can just, you know, uh, rephrase and, and work from this list here just to stay in organized order. So I get a lot of questions, you know, are you dedicated? Are you home every weekend? Uh, you know, where, where do you run your loads from? You know, what's your driving schedule like? How is it? Uh, you know, this and that. So we're going to dive right in. Here is what my trucking schedule is like. It's a typical week, Monday to like Saturday afternoon. But for starters, get this right out of the way. I am not OTR. I am currently working for a dedicated fleet. It's pretty much you are assigned a you know, specific location. So for example, for me, I am dedicated East Coast. So that means that I stay on East Coast. So my typical route is I run from as far as Maine, uh, as low south as Florida. So I stay within that proximity. So like, it's, it's chill because we visit a lot of the same customers. You're traveling on a lot of the same interstates. And for me, I didn't really want to go OTR just because like dealing with mountains out west and like I wanted to stay east. I, I like the east coast. Sometimes I get a lot of questions on this. You know, are you home every weekend? Uh, are you out for weeks at a time? My schedule is I work Monday morning. I launch out Monday morning and I get home about Saturday anywhere from probably 10 in the morning to about you know, one or two in the afternoon. So I work Monday through Saturday and I'm home basically every weekend. I could stay out extra, but like for me, I've done two, three weeks out. I'm not, it's my, I, I my body is not meant for that. I get, I get like kind of, you get burnt out. Like I was really tired last week. Um, and I, I put on like 20, miles and that was in one week. So if I had stayed out, I mean, granted, you know, I probably, I probably would have been burnt out. So you just, just know your body's limits. Cause you know, you can get very tired out here guys. I work about 60, I work about 60 hours a week, give or take. Cause those last 10 hours, which are on my 70, I'm getting home. Like that's my going home load. So usually it's about 60 hours. Um, and those 60 hours, I average anywhere from about, we'll, we'll, low, we'll be on the lower scale, we'll say anywhere from 2,000 up to like 3,000. So anywhere in between that ballpark is what I average for miles, guys. And let me tell you, that pay, it adds up fast. Like it adds up really fast. The time I launch out, it varies. So like it fluctuates. That's why I like this job. You could choose when you want to launch out. So me, I like to be up anywhere from 4.30 to about 5 30 in the morning anywhere in that time frame get a head start i want this truck rolling by 6 a.m no later because you know the lady you start the lady you shut down and it's a whole different ball game so if i started that early i usually shut down about i try to shut down about 4 5 5 p.m before that in that time frame and then uh i'm in bed by the time i shut down you know i like to unwind you know, relax for a minute, maybe check a few things on my phone, get in the shower. If I'm at a Loves or a Pilot, go take a shower, make dinner, 
sometimes I grab dinner out and then I, I need to be in bed by at least 10 p.m. And then I, I, my body, I'm a six and a half. I'm a six to seven hours of sleep guy. If I get any more than seven or any under than like six, I'm like shot. So you find out where your, your sleep schedule is like and just, just basically base it off that. But that's pretty much it guys. Conclusion, that is, that is pretty much it. That's a little summary of how my trucking schedule looks like for a typical week. I wanted to share with you guys. A lot of you guys were kind of like, you know, in the shadows wondering about my schedule, but um, that's that. So be sure you guys like, drop your comments down below and subscribe. Um, I'm planning on making a video like how my diet is over the road because I think it's very important to maintain a healthy diet and like a healthier lifestyle because you're sitting all day. Like I'm sitting right now. So I sit, I sit for like 11, 10, 11 hours a day. So anyways, that's besides the point. I'll probably drop another trucking video this week. And yeah, stay tuned for more cars, trucking content, and just vlogs, guys. And I will see you soon. Appreciate all the support. I will see all of you in my next video.